All right, everybody, I am back with a brand new movie review. I just got back from Dune 2. And boy, uh, I've got quite a few things to say about this film. So I'm going to give you kind of my thoughts on the film. And then we're going to look at some other stuff. Now, what's crazy about this movie is I swear that I was watching an alien film. (laughs) Because every time I saw these guys in the film, and especially Austin Butler's character... I felt like I was watching Prometheus and seeing some engineers, and it would be funny if they tied the franchises together, but I digress. It's pretty funny stuff when you look at the two and see how, uh, especially when they showed Austin Butler with his black teeth and black eyes, and yeah, he looked like an engineer. It was just kind of, well, a lot of, the whole group of people, I forget their names in the film, they all kind of look like that. It was very strange. It was the same as uh, Batista's uh, character in, in the film, but We are introduced to a few new characters uh, in this chapter of Dune. We have Florence Pugh. We have Christopher Walken. And we have Austin Butler coming in. And all three of these characters are are interesting. Uh, Basically, we've got the king and his daughter. So it's Christopher Walken and Florence Pugh. Uh, They're the ones, basically, it was Christopher Walken's character that sent, uh, you know, Timothy Chalet's family, Chalamet's family, to be killed and executed. And so there's a little bit of an exposition at the beginning of the film. And then we've got all the regular people back. Zendaya's back. Javier Bardem's back. Uh, We've got Rebecca Ferguson back. And Rebecca Ferguson has a huge role in this movie. And Dave Bautista has a, a little bit more screen time in this film as well. And so let's talk about this film. So first of all, this is a very different film from the first one. Uh, And I don't know how to say the director's name right, so I'm probably butchering it. it. But Dennis Villa... I'm not even going to try to say it. Okay, I don't know how to say his last name. So I'm not going to try to say it. But Dennis, okay, he's back directing. And it's interesting. There was a big change between the first film and this film. The first film was very, very choreography-centric. Very little dialogue. And it took a long time to build up the story that they were telling. And then we jump into this movie, and there is so much that is jammed into this movie. I told my friend that I went with that they really should have made the first movie move a little faster, and they could have done a little bit less with the exposition so that they didn't feel like they had to cram so much into the second movie, and you would have had a more balanced feeling between the two. The first one was very slow, a lot of choreography, beautiful to look at. Music was amazing. This movie has just got so many different moving parts. We find out definitely more about Timothy Chalamet's character, his family. Uh, His his mom goes through this whole process of the film becoming a very religious figure. He is being seen as the savior of everything and really embraces that throughout the film. And he has all these visions in the film and there are some scenes that I will never forget. They're going to be burned into my brain that are very, uh, very, very visceral, uh, having to do with the sandworms and some other things. This movie definitely moves a lot faster. It did not. It was nowhere near as slow as the first film. But my issue with it is the fact that they cram too much into it. I really wish the two films would have been balanced a little bit better. And this movie, I wouldn't say that this movie leaves on a cliffhanger. But it definitely shows you that there is going to be a third chapter to this. And I know that Warner Brothers is also coming out with a Doom, a Doom, a Dune TV series. And we're going to see how that fits in. Now, I have never read the book, okay? And I have n- I don't remember the 80s film. I saw that film once. It, it really did not leave a good impression on me. This is way better than that. I actually rewatched the first Dune the other day in preparation for this film and really enjoyed it. That was my third time seeing it and really enjoyed it much more in that third viewing than I did the initial time I saw it. And also I, I did see it one more time uh, about probably about a year to a year and a half ago. And this viewing was much better. This movie will keep your attention. It is, I believe right now, it is the highest rated movie ever on IMDb. And there's a reason why it's getting that rating. Now, I believe both films are four-star films. I can't give them five. The first movie is a little too slow for my taste. Amazing choreography. And I was expecting to come into a movie with that type of a feel. And I was prepared for it. But this one has a lot more going on. Almost too much. 
Uh, but it does get the job done. It is going to keep your attention from beginning to end, and it is pretty phenomenal and fun to watch. So at the end of the day, I give this one also a solid five stars. I would like to give it more, but I'm really hoping we get another chapter and that we do get the third film. Now, I was honestly shocked that they actually allowed this film to go forward because the first film didn't make nearly as much money as they were expecting. It came out during that pandemic time period, you know, three years ago, where people were not still going all the way back to the theaters. And I was shocked that they greenlit the second film. I, I thought, after I saw the first one, I thought there was no chance we were ever going to see a sequel to it. So I'm happy to see that the, the sequel actually came in. Uh, now, there were a couple of breakout performance in, performances in this. Uh, I really liked Austin Butler's character. He has some pretty crazy scenes in the film. And we see a little bit of, a little bit more about the priestesses that are in the in the film. And so we get to see his mom go through some changes and some interesting things happen. Uh, there were some colorful characters in this one compared to the last one. And we get to see a little bit of uh, Skarsgård and his, his, who he is and his transformation and his family. And there's just some crazy things that happen in this movie. And I really hope a third film gets made. I really do. I don't want this to be the end, but I am prepared for it to be the end because David Zaslav is in charge of Warner Brothers right now, and he is not a he's not a movie guy. He doesn't understand the business. And I don't think you can really end this here and just leave it like that. But I could see if it does end, I would be satisfied. But I want more. I want more. I want to see that third chapter where this is headed. But uh, we'll see what the studio ultimately decides to do. So if you've seen the movie, what do you think? Uh, I, I, I enjoyed the time. I think if you decide to go see it, if you like the first one, you're really going to like this one. I do not think you will be disappointed by any stretch of the imagination. All right, guys, so there's my review on Dune 2, another uh, knock-it-out-of-the-park type of film, and it was a good time at the theater. So uh, I guarantee you will not be disappointed. All right, we'll see you on the next video.